Hey guys, it's me Charlie. Today is September 16, 2012 and I am doing a video on some eggs that I'm going to be shipping. Now um, I'm doing a video for someone who requested me to show them how I pack my eggs. I normally don't do those kind of videos because it takes up a lot of my personal time. But um, I will go ahead and put a link right here. I'm not sure if it will be click clickable, but it's going to be to the person's um, YouTube channel. And um, I gathered here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten button quail eggs in a mix. So you got some of my pure white, my silver red breasted, my um, black face red breasted, also known as Darth Vader, which is a fun name, um, my normal red breasted, my tuxedo pied, which gives off between six and seven mutation colors of the tuxedo and the pieds. And which other one did you get? Um, I think that's it. I get six mutations that I have. Kind of went quickly. So these are the eggs that I'm going to be sending you. And I have a clear container. I won't be using these. I just got these from Kevin McGrath from Facebook. And um, he sent these along with the um, nest boxes there. And um, I'm not going to be using these. This is actually for another order that I have for someone on eBay, which is um, about 14 or 15 eggs. I also got some Saram eggs that I got to send out, which are going to go in here. And another order here for someone else. One more order there. And those are my Saram eggs. Look how small these guys are. They're so little that they could almost fit inside the button quail egg cartons. So now um, let me go ahead and show you. Oh, and I also have some oxalatos to ship off. This is all going to be happening tomorrow. These are the boxes that I use, the priority boxes. So these are the small priority boxes. This is for two egg orders. One is going to be for um, Fab Fabian. And um, again, I'll, you guys will see that link. It'll be clickable in the description. This is one of his boxes. This is an uh, eBay person, another eBay person, which um, I'm going to be doing your video as well. And it's um, for Love More, Judge Less YouTube channel and then the oxalotls. That's going to be for someone else that I'm going to do a video for as well. I'm going to try to put everything in one video if I can to show everybody because um, I can't do too many of them because it just really takes a lot of my time and when you're doing this as a hobby you don't want to turn it into a business where you're working. You want to keep it as a fun hobby. So let me go ahead and show you guys what the nests or what the eggs look like packed. Alright so I found the egg clear egg container that I used to send off um, up to 10 eggs. These are kind of like just little miniature egg cartons. They're clear plastic and they have a little pointy end and then a flat end which just tells the person that when you receive this cute little miniature um, egg carton, um, the pointy side is the pointy side down. Then I got my 10 sheets of um, toilet paper. So you just tear off 10 little sheets or as many eggs as you're going to be sending out and get this ready. And then oops this egg here now you heard me say oops the reason why is because I, I look at my eggs before I send them off and I try to check them and this is one that has a little dent you guys probably can't oh no you can see that see that dent I don't send those kind of eggs out that means that one of the birds poked it on accident so this egg whatever color it may be unfortunately I have to get rid of it dispose of it so right here on my computer I had an extra egg this one's a very nice egg. I knew I was going to use it at some point. So take my egg and I replace any that are broken or any that I missed during the first check. Pointy end down. I already know which end is which. Start placing them inside here very gently. And then I recheck as I'm packing the eggs. And I start to fold them. And the reason why you want to do this is because you don't want to send anybody eggs that have cracks or pokes. And um, the mail, I'm sure the post office is going to do a very good job of cracking your eggs as they get to you anyways. So hopefully, which a lot of my customers have told me that the eggs came in in perfect shape, no cracks. But my last video I sent someone, um, Dave1212ish, I sent him some eggs and oxalatos. But that was right around the time that the hurricane, um, which hurricane do we have out there right now? Oh, well, I can't remember. But the hurricane that they're experiencing at the moment, 
they had a mailman that was really rough and it was raining and there was water everywhere and so his package came in slightly smashed so some of his his eggs were actually um, cracked so you saw that in one of his videos so you just keep on doing this and you keep checking the eggs a second time around now if there's a tiny bit of something on there like this here that's a little bit of poop I don't wash that off or wipe it you can't because if you do that you will wash off the protective coating that the eggs have and um, those eggs won't be hatchable they could but I don't ever wash my eggs now you want to make sure your eggs are nice and clean and the reason why mine are is because I use fresh pine shavings in their nest boxes and I use nest boxes and my button quills will lay their eggs in there all of them do every once in a while I'll find some in the food dish or maybe just one laying out on the on the bottom of the cage but those tend to end up getting um, scratched or cracked or something here's another one with a little either poop or maybe food stuck to it again I don't like to peel it off because it could peel the protective layer of oil that the egg has or it could actually break the egg one more to go now I did do a mix and this person's channel when you go to see it there'll be two parakeets on the front page I'll show you guys what that looks like and his um, for those of you that probably won't be able to see the screen it's F A B I A N T E R R O N E S 1 3 all right so now what I do is I close this you know what I'm gonna have to come back to you in a second I forgot to set out my other supplies in order to show you what else I do so I'll be right back all right so I just had to get the tape so what I do all that extra cushion you see on top that just adds more cushion I'm always gentle to push down on the top of the clear egg container I don't push very hard and I tape it and it will try to give a little which will give a little space so the eggs don't get smashed and again I take the second part now some of you who receive eggs from me that you've purchased either through my eBay or my website or which I'm not sure if I want to keep my website anymore but I kind of like it I'm just now getting subscribers to my website I think I have 15 but um, I also sell on YouTube here and on Facebook but a lot of you that get eggs from me you always wonder why you always see this on your egg containers sometimes you'll see this the reason why it tells you that this is the top I can't write on the bottom because there's no space to write on there I'd have to kind of go over all the bumps and stuff this is the bottom so when you receive your eggs you can immediately go ahead and open them and replace the egg back in there to let them sit for six, ten, six to ten hours, even twenty-four hours. I'd recommend to let your eggs sit for at least twelve hours. Um, maybe put them in your incubator at midnight when you receive them in the mail. That should be enough time for you to let them sit because you want the air sacs to kind of go back on the round end from all that shaking and traveling all the way to your state for two days and you want the air sac to develop again. All right, so that's the reason why I put X's on that so you know the difference there. The other thing is um, I will mark sometimes mixed or sometimes I'll put a W for white or C for cinnamon. If no one requests me for me to mark the eggs, I don't like to write on the eggs. You can, which I do too. I write on my own eggs with pencil. But I, I'm just trying to get you guys your eggs really fresh and ship them out quickly. So you can go ahead and write what you want on them. I will put the pure white one in here and put a P for pure white or a W for white and I will send you a little note with it so you know what the letters mean I'll put a C for cinnamon um, cinnamon red breasted I'll put a D for Darth Vader or a V for Vader I'll put a T for tuxedo I'll put um, a WT for wild type or I'll put an N for normal wild type but I will write that on a piece of paper by hand and I'll go ahead and give you that little description then you can take the egg out individually and put a C for cinnamon red breast so when they hatch you know what hatched out of it so this is what your eggs look like that are going to be coming in the mail let me go ahead and pack that up and show you what it looks like as I'm packing it okay so I got the, vid, uh, the box here ready for you what I like to do on the box um, so I know which box is which um, 
on the part that has nothing to do with me. I put on here something that will let me know whose eggs these are. So I'll put the word mix YouTube on this box. That way I know that this is going to go out to someone that is on YouTube. The box has been taped up and I'm going to go ahead and use brand new paper. Over time I collect new paper from you know the boxes outside. Now when I'm doing this all by myself I actually set up the boxes first, mark them, and I don't write on the box the part that says perishable live embryo hatching eggs until it's completely taped up and I've created the label. Now the reason why I don't do that is because if I do it now and start putting the tape on it, I'm going to cover up everything I just wrote on there and then I have to rewrite it again and that was a waste of time. Over time, over time you get used to doing these and you start to figure it out. Okay, so now it's packed to the top. So now what I do, if I'm already done and I'm going to start packing these eggs, is I take some of this out and in the inside here, I'm going to make a nest. And I'm going to organize this the best I can. And I'm going to make a nest for those eggs. By that I mean, I want to make sure the bottom, these eggs that are going to be shipped off will not hit the bottom. Or the sides. So see, right in the center. It's not going to hit the bottom here. There's about this much space from the bottom. So if this gets smashed, the eggs should be protected. Now I'm going to go around the eggs while holding it in place and shove paper. I just shoved that piece right in there. This is kind of hard to do on camera. So on this side, same thing. So see it's still right there in the middle. Now that's usually good enough for the sides on top. I'm going to put one here. Now I need more so Keep doing this. Now one thing I like to do is when this starts resisting when I close it, that's not resisting that much. So I need another one more crumble of paper. When I resist when it resists, that means that that's enough paper. If it doesn't resist, that means you don't have enough in there and those eggs can come in cracked. Now I also put a label, um, a slip I mean, and that's to show you what you've purchased. It's like an invoice. See how there's a little bit of a resistance there? So I very carefully push it down and then I go ahead and tape that up. So I haven't created the labels yet. Um, so what I do, um, I'm not going to be doing that in the video because that's personal information that the person who's purchased from me, I don't want to share that. Here's a sticker that I get from UPS.com. I peel it and I put it on top. That's why it doesn't look like tape. That is tape right there. And then on the box here, um, I write live embryo eggs, and on top I put don't x-ray. So what I'll try to do is, um, I'll show you guys, I think, another part, and then maybe I'll do that at the very end. Alright, so I lost a part of this video that I was not able to... Um, retrieve for some reason, but I had to <coughs> re-record this. This is for Fabian, and um, this is your box here that will be shipped to you, and I'm shipping it off today, which is Monday, and so you'll be receiving it by Wednesday. And these are your eggs, and um, so your box is marked on all sides, live embryo hatching eggs, perishable, and I got a bunch of other orders to send out today, so I got a salamander. To send out which is my oxalato and um, a couple of eggs so if you guys have any questions or comments um, don't forget to check out the description to see uh, Fabian's um, channel and uh, it's clickable and don't forget to leave a comment if you'd like and subscribe and rate the video see you guys in the next video thanks for watching